Hey, John here again. So, I uh, made a cup holder for the, the missus on her bicycle there, and, and now she wants one on her gazelle. <laughs> uh, which, there's no tray, there's no nothing for anything on this gazelle. Uh, she just likes to watch her little TV while she's on the deck here. So, uh, I got to come up with an idea for a cup holder. I'm thinking over here or over here. One of these, these are, I measured them two and a half inch pipes. So, I had to come up with something. I'm probably while I'm making a cup holder, make some kind of remote for the uh, for the TV there, or a holder for a remote, something. Anyways, let me uh, let me think about what I'm going to do here. Cup holders are kind of easy to do, uh, but if you come across this video and you have a gazelle and you're wondering where to put your drink while you're while you're you know going back and forth here, <laughs> so uh, let me uh, go out to the garage think about some things. So, like most things I do around the house, I just got a bunch of scrap metal for oddball crap here. I grabbed a couple of uh, little pipes out of here. I'm going to start, start with this. I don't like to pay for anything, so I'll just make it. Uh, so, I'm thinking about using this. And uh, let, me just, let me just mark mark a couple of these for uh, reference. Let's see. And uh, So, I'm thinking something like this. This is uh, most likely the plasma cutter will probably cut inside this line, you know, somewhere around here. I don't even know. But I'll leave a little bit that I can weld to, and uh, I'm going to leave this long. I'm probably going to cut this, this piece off, this piece off, leave this here, get rid of that, get rid of that. Almost, almost looks like he knows what he's doing. suck her up and get her welded up. Yeah that should be that should be good enough. Alright so I welded it up, grinded it up, uh it came out all right. I, I just uh, I need a less aggressive flap wheel to clean them welds off because it starts chewing into the to the good metal. But so it's going to look like something like this. Oop, moved. Clamp. Need a clamp. All right. So just draw it out. All right. So I've got them all laid out. This is. Uh, obviously the bottom one with no hole in the middle and this one with the, the holes in the middle. I think I got some uh, package being delivered I got a grigette so let me cut them out. I'm not going to get too technical here. I'm just going to um, uh, clean that. I'm cleaning the inside up with a like a Dremel and a stone, and uh, clean the rust up with just a flap disc. Right? Shine her up a little bit. 
So after they're cleaned up, uh, I sandwiched them together, and now we can uh, just, you know, grind everything so they're all even, Stephen, and then do the same in the middle with the stone. <laughs> all right, man. So unless you're into super into filing manually, uh, I would recommend clamping these together, cutting them out together, the two, because <laughs> they were mismatched. Uh, so it took a while to file. There's really nothing I could get in there. I tried the, uh, the old Dremel tool and it was working a little bit, but you can't really get, you know, even Steven. So, so let's get to welding them on the, uh, wherever it went, the pipe. Ah, right, so I got everything center line here. Uh, these center line. So I'm thinking just, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what the spacing is going to be yet. I figured out probably an inch, inch and a half or whatever. Boom, 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 you know, and it's blazing hot. So I was going to chop this off, right, because it's going to get mounted here on the um, the gazelle, where the half pipe is. Uh, I was going to chop this isometrical, but now I'm thinking there's no place for this gazelle to put anything. So I might just make a little plate off of here. I have to go see what this looks like on a gazelle. Somewhere off of here for the remote on a TV. Might as well. Got the metal there. Yeah, that's too hot. All right, so let me do that. Let me think about it. And I gotta take this up, clean it up, and uh, go up on uh, Gazelle, see if it fits. A uh, little fire, fire TV remote, so it's pretty small, so it'll fit in here. So I'll just, you know. All right, so it's too hot to touch. So I don't have enough round stock to go around the whole thing, you know, to make a little shelf so the remote doesn't slide off or whatever. So I think that I got just enough to, uh, just do like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're not going to get too fancy here. So this will be, uh, this end will be welded on to the upright. And this will just be extended out. And uh, because it's rounded, you know, you just throw it in there. be fine. Can't go nowhere. I don't want to melt it. But. So I just welded it on. Let's hope it fits. Uh, so this thing is a done deal, right? Before I clean it up and paint it up, i got to go drill a hole in the uh, gazelle and put a bolt in there. Hopefully one bolt will do the trick. I gotta get going here painting this thing up because it's raining pollen or whatever that crap is called. So I'm supposed to be doing mowing the lawn and yard work. Let me get this thing done because uh, I don't even know if I can paint that now with the amount that this stuff is falling. It's like in the air. Yeah, let's give her a press. I'm using a 5 16 rib nut. I'm not sure what size the hole is. I always forget. But uh, let's get this sucker pressed in. <coughs> let's see if this little project worked. Looks okay. Then I'll paint it up. Hopefully, one five sixteenths screw will do the trick. There we go. All right. I'm thinking, yeah, looks good. Uh, room to put your remote and your. This thing is solid. Wasn't sure if the one bolt was gonna, you know, secure it, but clearly it is. All right, there you have it, folks. It's all done. It's painted up. It's actually in use. She was just using this thing. She's like, I don't want to be on the internet, so uh, she just took up. But it's uh, it came out good. It's painted up. She likes. Um, so there it is. So a little overkill. Uh, again, you could probably just add a bicycle water bottle holder. And it pop rivet it you would do the same thing but you know hey what else you got to do right mow the lawn or something blow the deck off that's all i got thanks for watching see you next time